Greetings. Uh, recently, while working on the chassis for the Princeton Reverb that I'm currently restoring, uh, something happened that was very unusual, and I think you might find it interesting. While testing the tubes, I found out that this 12AX7 right here uh, had a fair output, but uh, nothing real remarkable. So, wanting to do the best uh, I could, I went to my tube stash and found this really nice Raytheon 12AX7 and uh, tested it. And it darn near pegged the meter. Uh, remember, uh, these uh, 12AX7s are really two tubes in one. They're a duo triode, so you have to really test both halves of them. Uh, and uh, in that test, both halves tested out really strong output and no shorts. So I thought, well, this is definitely uh, stronger and better than the, the tube and the amp, so I installed this tube. Okay, first let's listen to the amp with the original 12AX7 in place. The amp is on, volume's on, it's dead quiet. Okay, now let's listen to it with the new, stronger tube in place. Now listen, we're getting a pronounced 60 cycle hum through the speaker. Now when most people hear a hum like that, they start to think, uh-oh, filter capacitors. Well, you're wrong if you think so, okay? That's a 60 cycle hum. Filter capacitors are usually associated with a 120 cycle hum. Also, let me show you something else about the hum. I'm going to change the volume control and see what you think. Notice that the hum does not respond to the volume control. So, uh, first let's see the difference between the 60 and 120 cycle hum, and then let's talk about what's causing this. Now, with the help of a signal generator, uh, let's hear the difference between 60 cycle and 120 cycle hum. This is 60 cycle. It's exactly the same as what we heard from that tube. Okay, now let's hear what 120 cycle hum sounds like. Completely different pitch, noticeably higher. Okay, here's what I believe is going on in the, in the bad tube. I believe that the uh, filament, the heater of the tube, is apparently too close to one of the other components in the tube. Uh, possibly the grid. And that proximity makes uh, it sort of like a capacitor. Now capacitors will pass alternating current straight through. So the 60 cycle will pass from the heater to the other component in the tube and we hear the hum. Whereas DC will not pass through a capacitor. So when your tube tester tests the tube or when you use a ohmmeter to test the tube, you use a direct current to see if there's any shorts. Well, the DC is not going to pass through the capacitance in the tube and will not register. So it fools both the tube tester and your ohmmeter. But when you plug it in, the alternating current can pass through that capacitance and come out uh, in the output of the amp as a loud 60 cycle hum. There is no direct short. Uh, that would certainly make itself quite evident. Uh, but there is, I think, this proximity of parts that create the capacitance within the tube that makes it hum. Now, if all this made sense, that's just great. If it didn't, it really doesn't matter. Because all you need to remember is, if you put in new tubes in your amp, or you get an amp in that you've never owned or, or listened to before, and you hear that 60 cycle hum, start looking at tubes. Probably one of them has some sort of capacitance coupling between the 60 cycle heater and the grid of the tube or some other component within the tube. 
and it's making it hum. If you hear a 120 cycle hum, which was noticeably higher in pitch, start thinking about filter capacitors. I think this is fairly valuable information actually and can save you a lot of time and money and frustration. So uh, in the future, uh, listen to the frequency of the hum and it will help you diagnose the problem. I appreciate your time and interest. Uh, I hope you've subscribed to my channel. If you haven't, I'm deeply offended. Uh, so please do so at once. And no matter what, uh, stay tuned for future videos. I've got the uh, completion video um, in the process right now for the uh, uh, Fender Princeton Reverb. And I think you'll like it. Okay, so I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.